Hi kids, Doug Selsom here. I think I might have discovered the answer to why we have to keep replacing these pinion gears on the starter for a Briggs & Stratton engine, okay? And uh, I've replaced this thing so many times and I'm gonna show you what the problem is, okay? I'm gonna take this assembly off and I'm gonna remove this cap and I'm gonna show you this bronze bushing here, right in the middle, has become elongated. So it no longer holds the shaft in the proper position. It, it actually allows the shaft to wiggle back and forth, like you can wiggle it back and forth. And so it no longer stays in the right position. And it also, uh, the rotor inside there actually contacts the uh, magnets and was starting to chew into the magnets. And it's all because this bronze, and you can see on this side too, see how it's worn away? The bronze bushing is not an adequate solution for a bearing for this cap. Um, I'm thinking it could be replaced. Might solve the problem just replacing that bronze bushing. I'm um, not sure if I want to bother with that versus just buying a new starter. But anyway, I think I have figured out the problem of why these starters, and I'm not the only person that suffers from this, I've replaced this ring or this uh, pinion gear so many times and I'm so tired of it because replacing the, the gear is nothing, but taking the starter in and out is a big pain in the butt. And, uh, and nobody can figure out why am I going through one pinion gear after another? And I think that's the reason. It's an elongated bushing, and it's right there. And uh, the only reason I found that out is I, I took the whole starter apart this time around and I wanted to clean it out and see if I could find something wrong with it, and I did. So there's your answer. Why do I have to keep replacing the pinion gear on my starter? These pesky little things. It's because that bronze bushing elongates, and that's the answer.